Violence broke out ahead of the inauguration of the European Central Bank's new headquarters in Frankfurt. Police cars were set on fire as protesters demonstrated against austerity. Police secured the area around the ECB headquarters and had used water cannons on some demonstrators. Frankfurt police say most demonstrators are expected to be peaceful, but the violence-prone elements could use the crowds as cover. According to the Associated Press, police said one officer was injured by stones thrown by demonstrators. Activist group Blockupy have announced plans to disrupt the inauguration by sit-ins, blockades, speeches and music. The new headquarters cost more than $1 billion to build. Blockupy activists were joined by representatives from leftist political parties like Greece's Syriza and Spain's Podemos. They say the ECB is partly responsible for enforcing policies that activists say are impoverishing parts of Europe. ECB President Mario Draghi defended the bank's policies at the inauguration ceremony, warning that moving towards more isolation and nationalization wouldn't solve Europe's problems. Some 10,000 people are expected for a rally in Frankfurt's main square. The ECB says it plans to be fully operational during the protests, although some employees may work from home. Violence broke out ahead of the inauguration of the European Central Bank's new headquarters in Frankfurt. Police cars were set on fire as protesters demonstrated against austerity. Police secured the area around the ECB headquarters and had used water cannons on some demonstrators. Frankfurt police say most demonstrators are expected to be peaceful, but the violence-prone elements could use the crowds as cover. According to the Associated Press, police said one officer was injured by stones thrown by demonstrators. Activist group Blockupy have announced plans to disrupt the inauguration by sit-ins, blockades, speeches and music. The new headquarters cost more than $1 billion to build. Blockupy activists were joined by representatives from leftist political parties like Greece's Syriza and Spain's Podemos. They say the ECB is partly responsible for enforcing policies that activists say are impoverishing parts of Europe. ECB President Mario Draghi defended